My topic of this discussion is use of hollow steel section in, in building construction. Small projects, project having a huge social implications in respect of the socio-economic condition of a country. So I think this is also an intra, uh, uh, important aspect. So before going to the project detail, I just want to just highlight certain points uh, uh, on, on different issues. Building can be of different nature of uses, requirement of residence being the third elementary requirement of human life. Building we primarily understand as the residential building. Thus, my primary discussions on the topic will be on the use of steel hollow section in the residential buildings. The primary form of human settlement is in the form of, fa of a family. Thus, the requirement of residence is by and large a family-based requirement not an individual requirement. Due to wide expansion of IT and audiovisual media, people's aspiration is changing very fast. Economically weaker sections of the populations largely live in kacha houses all over the country. Legitimate aspirations for pakka houses along, along with proper sanitations is also on the rise. Present scenario of our country is that more than 60% of our population do not have their own houses because of geographical conditions they live in, their affordability, and their social issues. The journey of human civilization towards modernity resulted to prosperity of the city-based civilization and enriched it a lot at its today's form. With the prosperity of city-based civilization, human settlement extended in all corners of the earth. Cities all over the world primarily expanded in the plain land, which presently is so congested that vertical expansion of building is a necessity to accommodate the increased pressure of human population and its services demand. The stall buildings are coming up very first in the cities. We have discussed a lot of things till now on tall buildings. <coughs> cities over the world primarily expanded in the plain land, uh, sorry, but tall buildings have uh, other technical and geographical issues which doesn't match with the rural and hilly environment. Wherefore, my essence of my project will come. Uh, I, I will uh, give details in later. Housing demand in the urban segment is also very high, but primarily due to affordability issues, their demand is still unfulfilled. Pakka building with machinery and RCC construction is much costlier, thus not having easy reach by a large section of our population. Machinery or RCC construction in seismic prone areas is also very vulnerable. This is a, a major part, uh, major issues of concern, specifically our enter hilly region of the country, the, the North Himalayan region of the country, which is uh, the highest uh, seismic zone, this is zone 5. And uh, it is also required more time of construction. Our country has also already taken a program, housing for all within, 20, within 22. That's, that was the uh, basic uh, uh, point of my uh, uh, discussion on the project. In respect of the demand, affordability, geographical constraint, time, cost, etc., steel building is a real solution to bridge the gap. Building with hollow steel section as its frame member and prefabricated panel, panel as uh, roofing, partitions, cladding can be the perfect solution to address the demand. As a model case, we have designed one such building project for sale. Uh, it was, uh, sale has given certain uh, discussion briefs on the requirement. So they, are, they were uh, thinking of uh, having a conventional machinery constructions. And we have been discussed with the issues. Later on, we suggested something. And therefore, we started. It's a different way. The building has been designed as family accommodations for their general staff. General suspension of the C category stops at Goa Mines, Jharkhand. It's a very remote area uh, in the state of Jharkhand in the iron ore mines segment. <coughs> the experience and lessons from the pro project I want to share. I hope this may be an easy housing solution for a large section of the population of a country and to meet the also the, the housing for all program by 2022. Uh, brief description of the project. This location is uh, uh, in the Guasai village, is in the uh, Jharkhand state. 
as a Google uh, map I have shown here. Nearest railway station is Goa. Total land area earmarked for this project is 11,466 square meter. Uh, total number of buildings in the project was 27. A number of story for each building was 2. Number of units in each building is 4. Area of each building is 175 square meter. Area of each unit was 37.5 square meter. Total number of dwelling units is 108. The 27 block blocks was arranged in a row. This was the ground floor plan. Each unit having two bedroom, one toilet, one kitchen, and one hall. Dining, small dining. Connected side by side, two units each floor. Between there is the lobby. Now, that was the ground floor plan. Now I'm coming to the first floor plan. It's a similar plan. The first floor is a two storey building. June 2016. Uh, this is the status of the project in different buildings have different status. This is the uh, this is a picture taken last, last 15 to 20 days back. This is the decking. First story is RCC or deck sheet. The deck sheet casting is going on. This is the semi finished blocks. Advanced stages. The side walls are all PU panel. Roof sheeting is uh, galvanum sheet. This is the finished shape of the building. The building structure, as I uh, showed you the drawing, the drawing is not, I couldn't rotate the drawing. It's a steel frame with hollow, section, hollow steel sections made of Tata structure. And roof sheeting is Tata trim deck. Wall panel is a, a Lloyd's insulation uh, panel. It's a pop panel, 50 thick sandwich. Intermediate floor is RCC slab. And basic design parameters was for wind, it is 50 meter per second speed. The seismic zone was 3. Building finishes it's our IPS flooring in the main rooms, ceramic flooring in toilets and kitchens. Less tiles on toilet walls, aluminum window, gypsum board fall ceiling for both the floors, ground and first, door and window frame was FRP. Cost of each building, the civil cost was uh, 1950 per square meter, cost of structure inclu including panel was 7450, finishing cost was 2150 uh, uh, per square meter. Cost of internal services that is MEP was 1350. The total cost was 12900 per square meter, which comes to around 1198 per square feet. Cost of each building with four dwelling units came about 22.5 lakhs. And this cost is exclusive of the other uh, external services that require, uh, say, the roads, the drainage, and Enter steel construct, uh, uh, enter framing work was done by steel hollow sections. Uh, the total tonnage per building was 8.9 ton and it is uh, more than 250 ton of uh, project, including of all 27 buildings and its other infrastructures. Advantages of use of hollow section in building construction it is very lightweight, the safe in seismic prone areas, requires lesser construction time. Easy fabrication, aesthetically good. It doesn't require any, uh, uh, most of the cases, it doesn't require any gusset plate. So you can have a very uh, uh, good finishes at the junctions. Uh, finishing quality thus is to the tune of industrial product and is cost effective. Apart from the building projects for sale, we are now also working on a foremost project uh, uh, 
which is in Bhubaneswar. Uh, that is, a, there is also 21,000 square feet area project. And there also we are having the entire solution, structural solution with steel uh, hollow sections. With the advance of steel hollow section, the higher, in, higher material grade, its use with, will be widened. Uh, we are also uh, doing two of such projects wherein the existing building are having some certain affairs increase due to the change of the municipal laws and the developers are going for extension vertically. But uh, going for the RCC, taking for the RCC construction, it will be a very tedious to accommodate the entire loading on the foundations. There we have given certain solutions with uh, lightweight construction, one of such pictures I am coming with. All the span is around 22 meter. Uh, we have put in, uh, provided a girder and they have converted it to a banquet. banquet. So uh, central column they have omitted. So there we have used hollow steel sections. Thank you.